Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I'm going to be making an unscented all-natural goat milk soap. Just going to be super gentle, luxurious and no fragrance, no bells and whistles, but I am going to do a color swirl uh, just because, you know, it's going to be simple but it can be beautiful too. For my color, I, I will use kale and clay in the base of the entire soap and then for the color swirl I'll, I'll use a combination of French green clay and spirulina powder spirulina powder did I say that right <laughs> I <laughs> I always think of the um, children's story uh, Stella Luna and so I say spirulina but it's spirulina anyway I digress let me tell you some of the things topically that are awesome about spirulina and why I'm adding it in this it's not only is it just a gorgeous color okay but it uh, I have some bullet notes here it is, uh, it's nutrient rich, it's, uh, it's got chlorophyll, vitamins and minerals, so, and this is just topically, some people take it internally too, but this is just on your skin. It's got wonderful minerals and nutrients for your skin. Um, it's said to reduce inflammation. Uh, it's supposed to be a skin toner, and um, it says, now, I'm not making this claim, but this is what I read on your skin. It encourages cell turnover, uh, creating a glowy skin. So uh, that's just the research that I pulled off the internet. It's a gorgeous color, and that's I'm going to use that combined with the green clay for our swirl and um, get everything pulled together. I'm going to get my hair pulled back, and let's come back and just make some really wonderful, simple but beautiful goat milk soap. All right, so I wanted to show you the process of how I add dissolve my sugar and my silk in a goat milk soap because I use frozen goat milk. So what I have here is a few ounces of um, about a third of the volume of the liquid in distilled water and I'm going to add my heaping tablespoon of cane sugar in there and uh, I'll just work this around until it's dissolved. I, <laughs> I learned this the hard way. I tried adding the sugar after the lye because I thought, oh, it's all hot, it'll melt. No, it caramelized and was not good. So, <laughs> and the only thing the sugar does is it aids in the lathering. And I think it's just wonderful on your skin, sugar, people who do sugar scrubs all the time, and it helps with the lather. And so I've just started adding it into most of my soaps. That's just an organic, unrefined cane sugar that I get. So I'm just going to stir this until it dissolves, and then here's my Tussa Silk. I'll just let that sit a sec. And it comes in these big, long fiber loops. So soft. <laughs> and um, I'll just pull off. I used to cut it, but I found out that I don't even need to. So I just pull off about, so that's about a cotton ball size. And after the sugar's dissolved, I'll put this in there. Then I'm going to put my frozen goat cubes on top of all of it and sprinkle the lye slowly and it will heat up enough to melt this silk. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes and the sugar is all the way dissolved. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Also, if you wanted to do um, more, like again, this is about a third of the volume of liquid in distilled water. If you want to do a full goat milk, what you could do is take a couple of ounces of the distilled water and microwave it to almost boiling and put your silk in there and melt it and then add that to your goat milk solution. Um, but I don't mind. I mean, having two thirds of this is goat milk to me, so it's a goat milk soap. Um, so that's how I do it. So I've got it up here on my scale and I'm gonna add my frozen goat milk chunks in here. Get it up to the weight that I need. Almost there. And that's good. So now I'm going to get my lye and start adding my lye solution very slowly to this. All right, I've got all the lye incorporated. The silk is now melted and the rest of the goat milk is finishing up melting and it turns this beautiful buttery yellow. Um, and it won't stay this bright, obviously. In soap, it will go back to just a creamy beige color. If you don't add any titanium dioxide, 
um, yeah, it's just a nice creamy natural color. So it's almost all the way melted, but it did get hot enough to melt the silk. So that is how I do my goat milk. All right, I've got all my butters and oils melted up and cooling here, and I'm going to add my dry additives, which is my colloidal oats. Nice heaping two tablespoons there. And my kaolin clay. Put that in everything, and then of course the color swirl, swirl will be the French green clay and the spirulina. But I like the kaolin and everything. I just feel like it adds a nice sort of smoothness, a slip to the lather, which I find very nice. Our wonderful creamy goat milk here, and I did add a little sodium lactate to this also that just helps to firm up the bars. And I run it through my sieve in case there's any little milk solids that have saponified or scorched bits or anything like that. Just like to make sure it's nice and smooth going into the soap. And it's no big deal to sort of, all those little orange bits, those are just scorched um, butter fats with no big deal. And the colander here will take care of that. Get this blended up to emulsion and then we'll split off for our wonderful green color. Let me just stick blend this a little more to get a little bit thicker emulsion. Uh, trace and then we'll add our colors over here. So here's my bulk of French green clay. Put a nice rounded teaspoon in there. And with that, this gorgeous spirulina powder, which smells fishy, but it won't smell fishy um, after it saponifies. So don't let that algae smell <laughs> throw you off. It's okay. Texturing the tops, what I like to do is at first I just come along and clean up the sides, which is always very satisfying. And then this has enough, I mean, you could just come in here and do a swirl like this. That's really pretty. Um, it's kind of pudding like right now. You could do little swoops with your um, chopstick. You could do that. Now, as, th as thin as this is right now, if I want to come in, and do a swoop over. It's going to be very gentle, but that's pretty. If you want a thicker one, like a really defined, you need to wait till it's thicker, but I actually like this since this is a very understated, unscented, you know, just natural soap. I kind of like the very subtle swoop. I might just stick with this. The nice thing is if I didn't like this, you can just go right back over it and start again. Lots of play time. Now I'm heavily right-handed so I have to actually rotate my soaps to <laughs> do it. I'm not ambidextrous enough where I can swoop on the other side. 
I'm like that. It's so funny. I can only change a baby's diaper going one direction. Isn't that funny? All of my babies. I had four kids and now my grandkids. And when I go to change a diaper, their head has to be to my left and the butt has to be to my right. That's the only way I can change a baby diaper. Oh, well. So this is still very pudding-ish and the middle here didn't hold, so I might come in again. But see, it's just, it's wonderful. You don't have to, um, you can play. And I like that. Unless it's like super thick or something, but usually there's time to play. So whenever you're happy with that, it's still a little liquidy. I think I'm going to wait and come back and do this again. I'll bring you in close and show you. All right, so here is the first attempt, and it's just very gentle and very subtle. And I would like it a little more pronounced, so I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and come back in and swoop again, and we'll, I'll bring you along for that too. All right, so I'm holding this. Sorry about it being wiggly, but I'm just going to come in and swoop out. And we can come back in and texture in a little bit when it gets thicker and do some more. But it's just fun to play. All right, let's give it another go and see if it's a little bit thicker. It's been 24 hours and I can't wait to get into this wonderful creamy unscented goat milk soap. I did steam the top so it has a little bit of a sheen. Not a much but I just wanted to really bring it to life and get rid of any dullness. So I can't wait to see how that green clay and spirulina came out in there. All right, let's get to cutting these wonderful bars. And um, so the spirulina, spirulina, sorry. <laughs> I think of Stella Luna, that children's book. <laughs> spirulina, it will discolor a little bit. Um, it'll bland out into more of a khaki green, but boy, that's beautiful. I think some of that green's gonna stay. It, it won't get too khaki, but um, it's such a bright green before you use it, but in soap it does sort of mellow out to a khaki green, but hey, it's still wonderful. And it's really good for your skin. It's full of so many wonderful minerals and vitamins. It's just great. Woo! Check out those swirls, y'all. That I love. Oh, I'm really happy with these. So between the spirulina, spirulina the French green clay, the kale and clay, and the goat milk. I think these are just like wonderful skin benefits and uh, so gentle and lovely. I'm super digging that swirl.